Hi friends, welcome to my channel NM Learn Make Courses with Nagamani. Today we are going to find the rank of the matrix using normal form. So we will see the definition once. So in normal form we have to reduce the given matrix into identity matrix. In this way, uh, while converting this a given matrix into identity matrix, we can use both row and column operations. And this is the symbolic representation of normal form. Okay, here what is the rank of the matrix for this n? Which n represents the this one? We will solve one example so that you can uh, you can understand in better way. Okay, now we will solve one example problem. Okay, uh, I have written example here. They will ask in exams like find the, find the rank of the matrix by reducing it to normal form. Okay, we have studied what is normal form and what we have to do in this. Okay, normal form is nothing but converting given matrix into identity matrix by using both row and column operations. Okay, now we will write A matrix here. A equals to 1,2,3,2,3,5,1,1,3,4,5. Okay, this is the given matrix. Okay, for converting uh, into identity matrix, first we have to convert these two into 0. Okay, how we can convert into 0? By using row 1, row operations. Okay. So R2 tends to R2 minus like uh, how many times we have to multiply row 1? 2 times. Then we will get here 0. Okay, na? So 2 R1 and R3 tends to R3 directly we can substitute R1. So we will get 0. So R3 minus R1. Okay, whenever we are converting given matrix into identity matrix, we have to focus on elements only. Okay, so first we have to convert these element into zero, then we have to convert these element into zero. For that, we are using row operations. Okay, now we will do these operations. Now here, A matrix is equivalent to, there is no change in row one operation. So we will write as this one, two, 3 2 so r2 tends to r2 minus 2 r1 so we will write 2 r1 matrix here so the row operation here so that we won't get any confusion 2 r1 is 2 1s are 2 2 2 are 4 2 3 is 6 2 2 is 4 okay we have to minimize these r2 minus 2 r1 so okay 2 minus 2 0 3 minus 4 we will get minus 1 5 minus 6 we will get minus 1 1 minus 4 we will get minus 3 similarly we have to subtract uh, we have to do the r3 operation so r3 tends to row 3 minus row 1 so row 3 minus row 1 1 minus 1 0 3 minus 2 we will get 1 4 minus 3 we will get 1 5 minus 2 is 3 okay after ready after converting these uh, two element into zero we will get we got this matrix now what we have to do first we have to we have converted the row operations okay one zero zero we have done then we have to do these elements into zero okay so for this we will use column operation by using column operation we can convert these three element into zero okay So what we can write? We know that this is C1, C2, C3 and C4. Okay. These are the column operations and these are the row operations. So for converting this into 0 by using C1. So what is the operation? C2 tends to C2 minus 2 times of C1. Then only we will get 0 now. 2 minus 2 times of 1. Then we will get 0. So C2 tends to C2 minus C2. 2c1 then c3 minus c3 tends to c3 minus 3 times of c1 then c4 tends to c4 minus 2 times of c1 okay so we will try we will do op column operations here 
what we will get there is no change in this column so we will write as it is then c2 tends to c2 minus 2c1 so 2 minus here we, we will write what is the 2c1 operation is 2 0 0 okay so what we have to do c2 minus this c2 minus 2c1 2 minus 2 0 1 minus 0 minus 1 sorry minus 1 minus 0 minus 1 1 minus 0 1 similarly we have to do c3 minus 3c1 3 minus here we will get 3 times of 1 so 3 minus 3 will get 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 minus 0 will get 1 then c4 minus 2c1 2 minus 2c1 is 0 then minus 3 0 will get minus 3 3 minus 0 will get 3 so now we have converted these elements into 0 and these elements into 0 then what we have to do we have to convert this element into 1 so here we have 1 so we need 1 so what we have to do we can multiply this with minus 1 so we will do this one so r2 tends to r2 into minus 1 so then we will get plus 1 now. so a tends to means a matrix which is equal to there is no change in row 1 1 0 0 0 then r2 is we are multiplying this row 2 with minus 1 so minus 1 into 0 will get 0 minus of minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 into minus 3 plus 3 will get so what is the row 3 there is no change in row 3 so we are writing as it is okay if you observe this matrix uh, this row 3 and row 2 are similar so what we can do by using row operation we can convert these elements into 0 so r3 tends to r3 minus r2 then what we will get there is no change in row 1 operation we will write as it is there is no change in row 2 operation so we will write as it is so here 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 3 minus 3 0 ok this one we got this matrix we got now what we have to do here so we have to convert this element into 0 and this element into 0 by using column operation by using this c2 we will convert these two elements into 0 ok so now I am writing here here this is c3 and c4 no? c3 tends to c3 minus c2 and c4 tends to c4 minus 3 times of c2 ok then what we will get here there is no change there is no change in c1 and c2 operation so we will write as it is 0 1 0 then c3 minus c2 this column 3 minus c2 0 minus 0 0 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 0 0 and here c4 is c4 minus 3 times of this we will get 3 times of this means 3 times of 0 0 3 into 1 3 3 into 0 0 so here we will get 3 3 c2 means so we will get c4 this 0 minus 0 0 3 minus 3 0 0 minus 0 0 we got this matrix like here what we can write how we can write this matrix which is a is i here there are two rows okay i 2 0 0 0 so what is the rank of this matrix by the definition of this here whatever the number is there that is the rank of the matrix so therefore rank of a which is equal to 2 in this way we can find the rank of the matrix using 
normal form okay i will uh, attach a snapchat here so you can uh, find you can take that and you can use it for your reference thank you for watching